Hello friends and welcome back to my crafty space. My name is Crystal and in today's video I'm going to be sharing a flip through of my story album volume three. This story album which I title Our Stories encompasses stories about all of our family members. This could be one of my parents, a grandparent, my husband, our whole family, both of my kids, myself, and more. So there's a ton of variety in terms of the types of stories and the subject of my stories inside of these albums. If you haven't seen them already, I do have a flip through for both volume one and volume two here on my channel. I will be sure to link them both up at the eye for you as well as down in the description box below. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive in. All of my title pages start with, uh, at least in this case, volume one through three, start with a stamped out title page that just says our stories repeated over and over. On top of the title, I have a label sticker that I put into the middle. These label stickers came from the Allie Edwards One Little Word collection. I can't remember if it was 2019 or 2020, or it could have even been 2021, but they have a space at the top where I can add in the volume number and then two areas below where I can add the month in the year that I first started working in this album and the month in the year in which I finished working in this album. So this one goes from June 2020 through February 2021. Now let's get going. The first story I have in here is one that I talked about what cozy means to me. So this is a story from my own perspective about what cozy means to me. This was a project that I did for uh, my Story Kit Crush series using the Story Kit Cozy from Allie Edwards. I will also mention that I have created a playlist for this specific album where it will show you all of the process videos for the stories specifically in this album. And I do that for all of my flip through uh, videos. That way you can see the flip through and then you can go, if you're interested in seeing a particular story come together, you can go and find that one here in the playlist. So this one was a cozy story. Next, I have a story where I used a kit from Feed Your Craft. This one was called Embrace the Mess, I believe. That's what it was called anyway. And I talked about having a messy living room or when I would pick up the living room and immediately my son would go and destroy it. That was the story I was telling here was just how kids are super, super messy. Next, I have a layout that I created with the... Um, a little space or need a little space, something like that kit from Feed Your Craft. For this one, I created my own cut file that was a quirky little or large, I shouldn't say little, it's big, uh, astronaut helmet that I put over top of a picture of myself. And then I just talked about how I was feeling a little cooped up at the time. This would have been in June of 2020. So I was feeling like really cooped up three months into the pandemic and I just felt like I wanted some space. And so that's really what I journaled about for this story. Next over here is a story that I created using the Friends Story Kit from Allie Edwards. For this one, I talked about my daughter and my niece and their budding relationship, just how sweet it is to see Izzy caring for her, her infant niece or her, her infant cousin, my infant niece. Next, I have this awesome little mini album that's just in here as an insert that I created using the digital version of the home story kit from Allie Edwards. And this was also a story kit crush project. You can pull the house out of the sleeve, which has the title on there. And then this flips open to show photos of and stories to do with all the different rooms in our house. I'm actually filming this flip through of this whole album right as we are getting ready to move. So I can't tell you how happy I am to have this little mini album in here that shows snippets of what life has been like in our current home before this current home is no longer our current home. It'll be a great way to go back and show the kids more about where they grew up in the early parts of their life. 
For my next story, this one is from the Change Story Kit, again, using the digital kit here. And for this one, I talked about changing colleges. I went to three different undergraduate colleges, still graduated in four years, but talked about all of the different ones. So this is a waterfall type of uh, page here, interactive page. So the different parts flip up. So you can see a story about my time at Hope College, a story about my time at Rochester College, and then a story about finishing college at the University of Michigan. Really, really love this one. I love the way that it looks here. And then also I really enjoyed being able to document the reasons why I had to transition to so many different colleges. It, it was very therapeutic to write that story out, actually. Next, I have a story using the August Stories by the Month kit, I believe the physical version from 2020, which would have been the digital version for 2019. For this one, I used some of the tiny phrase stickers and I popped them up and added them on top of this brick wall, which I thought was a really cool way to use those. And then I just talked about a couple of different things that were just happening around that time in our life. For my next story, I've got another project I made using that same August Stories by the Month kit. The oval pieces here were part of a six by four journaling card. I trimmed them out and then added them onto this page around the photo of my daughter. For this one, I just added a tiny bit of journaling into these portions and then called that good. So really just talking about Again, you know, what's happening right now? What are the small little details about right now during the month of August? Okay, so next I have a project that I created using the Rome Story Kit. This was a project I did for a creative team assignment and I actually do not have a process video for this one. Um, it's fairly simple, two full page photos, one that is a map, one that is our family on a boardwalk that I took a picture of us from behind. And what I wanted to tell for this story is all of the places where we want to go. So this has a little portion that unclips uh, kind of like a happy planner where it goes on rings. So basically I hole punched it and then cut slits in here so I could squish it onto the rings or take it off of the rings when I wanted to. And then when you open it up, there is a ton of journaling about all the different places that my husband and I would like to go at some point in our life anyway. And then um, it's backed onto, you know, or, or the, the flip side of it has two quotes on it that I just created using the digital journaling cards. The next project that I have, I was inspired by a couple of pieces from Colorcast Designs. Colorcast Designs is a shop that sells acrylic titles and wood veneer titles and embellishments. For this one, I have the acrylic piece that says bright sunshiny days. And then there was a set of who, what, when, where, and why. I loved the idea of pairing all of these on a page and using those as jumping off points to talk about going on a wine tour with my mom and her friends and her friend's daughters. Next, I have a project that I created for um, a creative team assignment for Allie Edwards. This one was using the Kindness Story Kit. So this one, I wanted to talk about um, the ripple effect of kindness in our crafting community. So this portion right here is made to look like, almost like artwork, both of these. Like you could, you could find something like this to put on your wall. This piece right here swivels to the side and has journaling underneath about experiencing these moments and these people who are extending kindness towards me. Then each of these little hearts, which by the way are printed on, um, fabric paper and so is this piece right here. So this is all fabric paper which makes it really textured and and fun fun to touch. Behind each of these hearts um, I have a little a little card here that has names so I wrote out names of all all kinds of people in our crafting community who have made a difference or who have said something kind that meant something uh, really, really big to me. So behind each of these is a card full of names, which is really fun. And I, I like that I can pull those out and remember all of these people along the way who have 
who have made this hobby mean something so special to me. Next, I have a story using the June 2021 Stories by the Month kit. For this one, I used the prompt counting all the good stuff, and I went and counted some things that felt really good to me at the time. So books that I had read, flowers that had bloomed, different types of beer that we had in the fridge, and all of my coffee mugs, because my coffee mugs just make me happy. So I counted them all up, added the number on here via stamping, and then put the title on there, talked about those different items that I love, and then used the this and that stamp set to create a title. Actually, this would have been, it was the June kit, but I did it back in May. I've got a little uh, story here that's just on this piece that talks about garden updates. So for this one, I wanted to talk about updating our landscaping out in the front of our house. Now we actually did this back in 2018. So I was telling this story, like retro telling the story, um, but I, I love having this in here because it's a good reminder of how much work we did on this house to make it, to make it look the way we wanted it to look. The next story I have, I called Welcome Home. So this one was again, a story from the home story kit that I did for Story Kit Crush. For this one, I took a picture of the front of our home and then I used these little cards here to talk about different things that home is to me. So the prompt was home is, and then I would say home is family. Home is sitting and enjoying the peace and quiet, you know, that sort of thing love this one. I love having these stories about our home because it's about to be not our home. So I just like so much gratitude for having those stories told. The next one in here is another from the same kit from the home story kit that I did for Story Kit Crush. For this one, I used the card. It was a six by four card and I made it bigger into a six by eight and added some extra sections that said numbers in this home counting the stuff of life. So I counted all different kinds of things like five, five beings, uh, 46 pairs of shoes, 10 fuzzy blankets, 54 board games. So like just random stuff in our house that I went around and counted one day and then turned that into a story. My next one talks about um, some of the, some of the like protests and the, um, the stuff that was happening last June in regards to the Black Lives Matter movement. So for this one, I used a card from the July stories by the month kit that said freedom lies in being bold. I fussy cut that out and put it on a picture that I had found on the internet that gave me a really good depiction of what was going on. And then I used the prompt kindness welcome here to journal about that time. For my next spread, I have a story about going to our annual trip in Sagatuck, Michigan in 2020. We actually just got back, well, it's been a couple weeks, but we we just went to Sagatuck for our 2021 trip, so it's really fun to look back on this. And we actually took this exact same picture uh, this year, which is kind of a tradition that I am instilling. So I'm excited to document the new picture of all of us on the front porch of the cabin that we always go to. For this one, I used the three prompts, going, eating, and loving, to talk about our trip. And then, you know, just paired that with a really big photo. And this one is a stamped card with a pattern background. So just something to make it a, a filler type of card there. My next story I created for Story Kit Crush using the Story Kit habit. For this one, I wanted to compare and contrast my habits with my husband's habits. And this was something was something really fun to do. I love the structure of this. I love how it looks. And this is a story that I tell all the time, like me versus him on all different kinds of topics. So for this one, it was a fun, it was a fun one to list out. Like what are my habits and what are his habits? Next, I have a layout that I that I created with, I believe, the August 2020 digital stories by the month, I'm pretty sure. For this one, there was a card that had a bunch of little tags, so I made them bigger, added a tiny bit of journaling into them, added some itty bitty photos onto them, and then put them on this page. Now, these are not interactive, so they're... Or they're 
I'll take that back. They are interactive in that they move, but there's nothing on the backside of them, which is something you could totally do if that is a look or you know, if you're, if you are looking for more area to add your text to, then I've got a three by eight insert in here, just with a couple of, uh, the quote cards. And then this pairs with a full page outside of the page protector, um, where I've got some text in the circles. This was another digital card that I, that I dissected and then recreated my own thing on Photoshop. And then I've got this in the middle as the find joy and write it down. And then a couple of photos that go in amongst those circles. Okay, next is another story from the Cozy Story Kit Crush series. This one is all about our bed and our bedroom and why I love my bed, um, which was just a fun, like a fun, silly story to talk about. Like, why do I love my bed? I mean, think about that. Why do you love your bed or do you not love your bed? And why don't you love your bed? It's just like a funny thing to talk about and a good reminder that stories don't always have to be about people. They could be about the things in your life and the reason why those things are important to you or not important to you, right? Next, I have another story using the Change Story Kit. This one was done digitally and was for Story Kit Crush and was all about getting out of debt. So my husband and I are, um, are not, I wouldn't say like avid followers, but we are big believers in the uh, Dave Ramsey getting out of debt type of mindset. So I talked about how some sacrifices that we had made in order to pay off most of our debt uh, before we bought our house and how that made such a big difference for us. Next, I have another story using the Habit Story Kit. And for this one, I talked about doing the uh, Positivity Passport last year in July. So I talked about why I participated in it, what I loved about it. I had a picture of uh, the book that I had worked on and then called this one pretty well and done. Next, I have a layout that I used com using a stamp set actually from Feed Your Craft. This one, the stamp I believe was called, oh gosh, I actually don't remember. It might've been, it could have been screenshot worthy. I don't remember what this one was called, but it, it had a phone on it. And I liked the idea of stamping a repeat pattern with the phones and then adding in some of my favorite memes from that period of time on to the phones. And that would give a pretty good depiction of somewhat of the news that was going around at the time. And then also, you know, just what we found funny during a very stressful time in our life. The last story I have here is a story from, oh gosh, when did this, I believe this would have been a September stories by the month kit, I think. Don't quote me on that. But there was a card that says gratitude and hope. And it came with a bunch of these wood veneer, like oval shapes. On the other side of the shape, there was a sentiment. So I actually just used the back side of them put numbers one through five on here and talked about five things that I was grateful for at the time. So that my friends is my volume three hour stories album. Now, one of the questions I get a lot of times with these stories or with these albums is what do I do with stories about my kids? Each of my children has their own series of story albums and I have actually completed volume one completely for both my daughter and my son. So those are flip through videos that I will be sharing very soon. So that way you can see firsthand what does this look like when it's all stories about one particular person which might be, when I get into 2022, a way that I will change up my story albums is to make them more specific to different people and maybe work in more of them at once, but to have those stories have a more definitive home based on the subject rather than just random throughout the year. But really, this has worked super well for me. I've been doing it this way for two years. I don't regret it. I'm so grateful for all the stories. And sometimes it is fun to just look through a book and have a bunch of random stories that you can read. So to me, that's, that is the beauty of these albums. 
I hope that you have enjoyed seeing the finished volume three our stories album. If you have, I would love a thumbs up on this video. And if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can see all of my future crafty videos. Make sure to check out the description box down below if you are interested in finding the playlist for this album. That way, if you want to see any of those uh, stories that I shared there in more detail, you will be able to find that there. Um, and I believe that that is it. So until next time, friends, I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye friends. <laughs>